Welcome to our channel Mishti Meow Diary. So today I am going to prepare a fantastic new recipe for them using sweet corn and chicken. Okay, so for this at this moment I have cleaned the sweet corn and cut it. And the chicken is also washed and I have kept it ready. Okay so this chicken consists of bones and chicken skin. So you can see here I have filled the pot my vessel with water and I have put in lot of water because it's summers here and yes uh, it's very important to keep them hydrated so this water will help me in making a lot of bone broth so now since the water is warm I will add the chicken pieces to the water so you can see that I have cleaned the chicken properly and the chicken is having some skin attached to it and yes this is a chicken which has bones as well because I want to give them good nutrition and bone broth is very good for the health okay so that's the reason I always take chicken with bones and obviously this is a human grade chicken and not a pet grade one okay because I want we all actually want to give them the best food because home food is known for its goodness for lots of nutrients so I have added this chicken and we'll wait for it to come to a boil so you can see here the froth has come up so I will be removing it okay tiny loves this so I will just take it out in a separate bowl and keep it and once it's cooled down I will be giving it to her okay so you can also remove it this way or you can leave it there is no harm in leaving it okay but uh, I feel you must clean uh, like we must remove this because like this is not a very healthy thing but yet I feed it to tiny because she loves it okay so here you can see the oil from the chicken has come up okay so you can uh, see like uh, it's really good like uh, the chicken has almost boiled and now like I will be adding sweet potatoes to it and again I will be just cooking it okay so we'll wait till the time the sweet potato is completely cooked so in between we will have to check this now sweet potato high is very fibrous okay and is very good for your cats as well as kittens you can give it to both of them okay because it's full of nutrition uh, so we'll add and we'll wait so here you can see now the water is completely clean it's clear okay and it looks like uh, you can see the oil on top so it makes me feel more good because it makes me feel that okay this is the nutrition what I'm going to feed them and uh, like uh, bone broth obviously is something very good for the health and in this summer season where the where they need to be hydrated okay so it's very important that the water quantity be is good so that it's not important that you force them to have water okay you know that already that okay cause of this and there is no requirement for them to drink water because enough of water they will be getting in this chicken whenever the meal is served to them okay. so you can see here the chicken is also cooked the sweet potatoes are not yet done okay so we'll yet give it some time to it to get properly cooked so here once again I'm checking on the sweet potato just to see if it is cooked and yes you can see that the sweet potato is also cooked now like every all the ingredients are properly cooked i want the meat to be very soft so soft that when i try to remove the bones the bones easily come out from it okay, so here yet i will be just cooking it for some time okay you can even turn off the stove at this point but uh, I will just try, I will just to be very sure that yes, everything is cooked well. I'll wait for some time, okay, and then I will be turning off the stove. So you can see, like, nicely it is boiling, okay, everything is well cooked. But yet, just for the meat to cook an extra bit more, I have left it on the stove top. 
because all this food is all about providing great nutrition to your cats okay even if the bone softens the soft bones will be easy to break okay so now that it is done you can see i remove it from the stove and let it cool down and once it is cool you can see how easy the bones are coming out okay you don't have to struggle much the bones are coming out so i will separate the bones at one side i will separate the bones and i will separate the meat so the meat and the sweet potato will be here and i will be discarding all the bones okay because you know like giving them bones is not good but at the same time like uh, yes uh, hard bones and soft bones soft bones are good for the teeth so definitely i will be keeping the soft bones here whereas i will be removing all the bones which are very stiff very hard okay which can like harm them so i will remove all the bones and i will just let the soft bones and meat be here and then i will just mash this entire thing so that it is easy for them to eat i you know like uh, tiny and max they can eat the meat chunks but uh, mishti yeah, she doesn't like so i prefer to just mash it up everything very properly and you can see that we have got lot of broth here so now you can see, this is what it will look like the final texture once you mash up everything the sweet potato the chicken and it is a good broth right a very lovely broth is now i have kept it so much in the broth why because it will keep the four babies hydrated and cause in this summer is a shedding season they shed a lot so if they are hydrated they won't shed much okay now this is a tip for you so here you can see like i have prepared around like 500 gram a uh, 500 ml pack so this is a meal for them for 5 days so 5 days they will be eating it okay so this all i will be freezing and uh, i will be freezing uh, like uh, and i will be freezing them okay so that it stays for long so this is a 5 day meal and here you can see i have put this i have served this to them so you can see here today i'm not feeding mishti mishti is near the bowl and she is enjoying it i love to see this you know this is just a treat to my eyes when she just comes for food and she eats on her own it's really lovely to see it so yes this this particular meal is a 100% best meal for your cats because you can see mishti is enjoying it and mishti eating something on her own means a lot to me okay so definitely you can try it for your cats and you can let me know in the comment section that how did your four babies enjoy this meal what did they love it or not but yes do remember to keep the broth much because it's summer season and broth keep them hydrated and it's very good for the health okay and i hope that your four babies to love it do like share and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more recipes